LED emitting diodes are one of the most common additions to electronics projects. They serve several different functions such as indication, illumination, visual enhancement, or communication. LEDs alone are unable to regulate the current that passes through them, so they need help from an external current limiting component. Thankfully, current limiting is easy and inexpensive using a resistor of appropriate value placed in series with the LED. So what exactly is the appropriate value? Let's take a look at Ohm's law to find out. Ohm's law states that voltage is equal to amperage multiplied by resistance. For this application, we'll need to know the source voltage, the forward voltage of the LED, and the LED's recommended operating current. Looking at the specs on this example LED, we can see the forward voltage is 2 volts and the current is 20 milliamps. Let's say we have a supply voltage of 5 volts. Starting with our source voltage of 5 volts, we'll subtract our LED's forward voltage of 2 volts, leaving 3 volts to drop across the resistor. Because the resistor and LED are in series, we know that 20 milliamps will pass through both the resistor and the LED. Looking back to the Ohm's law equation, we can fill in the voltage and current for this circuit. Using some algebra techniques, we'll rearrange Ohm's law to solve for resistance. Therefore, resistance equals 3 volts divided by 20 milliamps or 0.02 amps. This gives us a value of 150 ohms. Now we know the resistance that's required, but there's one more step to ensure we select a resistor that can take the heat. Resistors have different wattage ratings, and we need to make sure the resistor's wattage meets or exceeds the wattage required. The formula for wattage is power equals amperage multiplied by voltage. To solve for power, we take 20 milliamps, or 0.02 amps, and multiply it by the voltage dropped across the resistor, which in this case is 3 volts. This gives us a value of 0.06 watts, or 60 milliwatts. Now let's go onto the DigiKey website and find a resistor that will work for us. Let's go ahead and select the resistors category, and then we'll go to through hole resistors, select bulk packaging and in stock, then I apply the filters. Next up we'll select the resistance, which in our case again is 150 ohms. Then we'll move on to the wattage. In our case we need 60 milliwatts, so we'll select anything above that and select apply filters. Then I like to sort by price, and let's go ahead and check out this first one. Let's go ahead and look at the specs. 150 ohms, tolerance of 1%, and a power rating of 1 quarter watt. If you'd like to simplify the process of calculating resistance and wattage for an LED's current limiting resistor, check out the calculator on the DigiKey website. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe.